Hey y'all, it's Kasia and today I'm going to show y'all how I did this half up, half down quick weave with the soft crimps. So I'm just going to jump right into the video after this. I'm just going to show y'all how her hair was previous to me doing it. So this is how we started off. This is the beginning view. Now for the tutorial, I'm starting off with her hair pre-parted and pre-braided. I've already braided the back part with some like straight back connecting braids with an anchor braid at the bottom. And I left this braid out for leave out. And I'm just going to go ahead and show y'all how I high combed and flat ironed it. The top part, um, this is the key to having a really sleek ponytail. Especially if you have really, really thick hair. Or really coarse hair the hot comb is the key to getting a really flat and sleek ponytail Okay, so for her ponytail, I'm going to be using some Murray's Beeswax. I normally would use the Murray's in the orange container, but I didn't have any of that left. And this works just the same, basically. That one's a little, I would, I would say a little firmer hold, but this one is fine as well. So you want to use some type of wax or beeswax. That's what I like to use personally, but some people don't. It's really personal preference. But anyway, I'm going to be using wax and i'm going to be using got to be glue spray to put her hair into a really nice and neat ponytail at the top now she didn't want her ponytail too close to the front so i kind of have it a little further back but you can adjust your ponytail however you want i'm going to be spraying that got to be glue spray on and then blow drying her ponytail into place and i'm just going to do that as many times as i need to to get the ponytail as sleek as possible i'm also using two ponytail holders to sleek that ponytail up and to secure it so once i do that i'm just gonna I'll, i also pulled out her edges because i'm gonna slick those in at the end i just want to make sure the ponytail is nice and sleek before i do any of that so once i'm done and i've completed the ponytail i'm gonna go ahead and spray it one last time and use some black wrap strips on it and then i'm gonna redo the ponytail one last time while i have all that hair in place so then i'm gonna braid that back and tie it off with a rubber band and then cover the ponytail part with some wrap strips as well so that when i glue the tracks on for the ponytail it doesn't stick to her actual hair or the glue doesn't get on her actual hair it sticks to the wrap strips Okay, so for the back portion, I'm going to be using some wrap strips to cover up her braids. Just so, like I mentioned before, the wrap strips, the glue will stick to the wrap strips and not her actual hair. So, I'm just kind of forming it to the shape of the back of her head. And I'm going to have her to hold the sides in place so that I can get it, get the wrap strips 
in place like they need to be, then I'm going to put a cap on top of that. You can definitely use a black cap. I just literally used what I had on hand, which was brown. It won't make a difference what color the cap is because it won't be seen. But if you're worried about it being seen through, definitely just go ahead and use black to be safe. So I'm going to be sewing that all the way around. You have to feel and make sure that you feel for the braids underneath and... Other than that, you just keep sewing all the way around. And once you finish, you want to tie that off and cut off the excess cap and wrap strips. And then you're pretty much done with that process and you'll start gluing on the tracks. Okay, so I'm using 30 second hair bond glue and I'm just going to glue those tracks in the back on. She had already used this hair before so the tracks are pre-cut so I'm just kind of piecing them together in the back. Um, so obviously I don't know where this hair is from so I won't be leaving the, the link to this hair specifically in the description bar because I don't know what hair it is. But since she's used it before we're just going to use it again because... <laughs> reduce reduce recycle okay so anyway i'm just going to be gluing those tracks on in the back and i'm going to start curving them into a smile like motion until i'm all the way at the top and done putting them in i'm just going to keep going until i fill up the entire space Okay, y'all, so I fast forwarded this, this part. Please do not kill me in the comment section below because at this point, I knew I had effed up. Y'all, I recorded the ponytail on time lapse. I was not trying to do that. I didn't even realize I had done it. And by the time I realized it, guess what? It was too late. I had already did the ponytail. So I'm just going to kind of slow down the styling process. If you do want to see how I did the ponytail, I do all my ponytails the same. And I've already done a half up, half down style on YouTube. So I can definitely link that if y'all want to see it. I'm so sorry. I definitely didn't try to do that on purpose. Um, But, you know, you can't go back in time and fix mistakes. So we're just going to have to work with what we have. Hopefully you can see the fast motion process well enough. But all I did was wrap the track. I sewed the first part at the bottom of the ponytail. Then I wrapped the tracks all the way up the ponytail. And I used a piece to cover a piece of hair to cover up the base part of the ponytail. I'm so sorry, y'all, but please bear with me. I did not speed through any more of the rest of this video. So I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. Um, let me know if you have any requests in the comment section below. I'm just gonna be crimping the rest of her hair or well, crimping her hair styling it this is a bed head deep waver i got from walmart you can find it at walmart or amazon or something like that and that's about it thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next video bye